Buckle up guys, today I'm tackling the dirtiest vehicle I've ever had in the studio, so stick around, you do not want to miss this one. I do not like this vehicle. Hey, come on in. <gasps> your car. Oh my god, it looks so amazing. Hey, what is going on guys, and welcome to an absolutely freezing day up here in Canada. It's currently minus 35 Celsius with a wind chill, and uh, yeah, winter's in full swing, and it's pretty clear it's put a beating on this 2017 Chevy Traverse that I've got for you today. Okay guys, well I'll brave the cold for a few minutes here to quickly show you around this vehicle and what I'm facing today, and to be honest, it's pretty crazy. The whole car is just caked in dirt and is going to give my pressure washer quite a workout, but the interior is just on another level. All three rows of seats are a disaster, and I really don't have words for what we're looking at. Plus, you're not going to believe what I pull out of this car today. It's just wild. And to top things off, the owner's reaction at the end of the video is just the cherry on top of a spectacular transformation. Okay guys, well you've seen just how filthy this car is and that I have a pile of work ahead of me to get this thing looking brand new again. So let's get it inside and get to work. Thanks to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring today's video. Fun fact, if you aren't playing Raid Shadow Legends like Mike here, then you really aren't living your best life. Mike loves playing epic and revolutionary games on his phone, and the one he loves the most is Raid. In fact, he loves it so much, I was inspired to make a top three list of the best places to play Raid. Number three, sitting on a quad. When you're in a comfy seat, it's even easier to stay focused and crush tough bosses. Number two, inside the box of my truck. Sometimes you just need a little privacy when you're playing, am I right? And number one, while you're operating a piece of heavy equipment like a skid steer. Of course, you should always be parked while you play, but if you find yourself with a few minutes throughout your day, why not take on a quick battle or two? And of course, since Mike is always playing Raid, I've gotten hooked on it too, but the one thing that I love the most about the game is the incredible graphics. You guys know that I have an extreme attention to detail, so playing this game and seeing how sharp, crisp, and realistic these graphics are just tickles me in ways you couldn't understand. But what's even better is that Raid's got something extra special happening now. They've released a legendary champion based off MMA and pro wrestling legend Ronda Rousey. Yes, THE Ronda Rousey. You can get Ronda for free right now, whether you're a new or longtime player just by logging into Raid. All you've got to do is log in and play Raid for 7 days between now and February 20th and Ronda's yours. That's all there is to it. To celebrate Ronda's arrival in Raid, you also use the special promo code RAIDRONDA to get a bunch of helpful stuff like a 3 day 100% XP boost, 500k silver and 5 full energy refills. Perfect for leveling your Ronda up so she's at the top of her game. Just enter promo code Raid Ronda in game and all these goodies can be yours. I better get training her up myself. Also, if you're an Amazon Prime member, you can get your exclusive rewards in Raid right now. And if you haven't started playing Raid yet, click my link in the description or scan my QR code here on the screen. You'll get unique bonuses worth $30. We're talking a free Epic Champion Virgus, 200k Silver, 1 Energy Refill, and 1 XP Boost, and 1 Ancient Shard, so you can summon awesome champions as soon as you get in the game. All this treasure will be waiting for you here, and it's available for 30 days for new players only. All right, now let's get started on the car. All right, well, it's time to get the back sprayed off here, and no question, this is going to take me a couple of minutes. It's pretty filthy, um, but I do know this vehicle drives on gravel roads a fair bit, so it's pretty likely the crevices here are full of dirt. So uh, it's just gonna take time to get those all sprayed out, and well, hopefully I don't get hit with back spray in the face in the process, so.
All right guys, well, one thing you always see me do is spray off the underside of a vehicle. And of course, being that it's winter now and they're salting the roads, it's even more important to get that sprayed off and to get all the road salt off. Uh, that is not something you wanna leave in your vehicle because it will eventually start to rust. So um, we are gonna do that. And of course, being that this vehicle was so dirty, guaranteed that it is caked underneath as well. So uh, yeah, it's gonna take some time. Now, as I spray out the rear jam here, this is one of those areas where it's very hard to not get a few drops of water going inside the vehicle. So once I'm done, I'll just quickly wipe things down so the muddy water doesn't have a chance to dry. All right, now that the vehicle has been washed and rinsed, I'll use what I consider to be the best drying towel on the market, and that's my Detail Geek Ultra Plush drying towel. It's super absorbent at 1250 GSM and double stitched over the length of the towel so it never rolls on itself. There really just isn't anything else I'd want to dry vehicles with, so be sure to check it out over at DetailGeekAutoCare.com. Okay, it's time to start on the interior now. That is no doubt going to be a colossal task with three rows of filthy cloth seats. And once I've got the front seats out, I'll start to remove the garbage and personal items from the rest of the car. And like I mentioned earlier, I found some pretty unsettling things in here, starting with this bowl of frozen pasta. But when I dug to the bottom of the passenger door compartment, it got worse. I found for the third or maybe even fourth time in the last year now, a bloody feminine hygiene product. Yeah, I don't know why that keeps happening, but believe it or not, it only got worse from there. Under the second row seats was a bag with, get this, frozen chunks of meat from a deli. And trust me when I say this, guys, they had been there a while. So I'll quickly get those in the garbage and we'll then track down even more moldy food on the other side. Okay guys, well, I've, uh, I've pretty much got the vehicle cleaned out and you know, all the big debris and stuff is, has been removed. So uh, almost ready to vacuum, but did want to just mention one thing before we do that. 
uh, for any of you out there who detail other people's vehicles, um, when you're emptying out, you know, storage compartments or glove boxes, whatever, uh, you always have to go slow because you just, you really never know what you're going to find. Uh, now this is a fish hook and it was just kind of buried among all the, the stuff that was in there, the papers and whatnot. And uh, yeah, it would go into your hand pretty quick. So um, yeah, anyways, just, you know, be careful. But uh, I'm going to dispose of this and yeah, go grab the vacuum. Now the little strip of carpet here in the second row has been absolutely hammered by dirty shoes and has turned brown in the process and the fact that this traverse has really cheap carpet doesn't help as it basically acts like velcro and the dirt just sticks to it so I'll do as good of a job as I can with the vacuum now and the rest will have to wait until I extract the carpets and seats later on. With the vacuuming done now, we can take a look at everything that was sucked out of this vehicle and I'm honestly curious how much this all weighs because it's a staggering amount. But once that's all disposed of, the carpets are starting to look presentable again, so it's time to get the mighty out and extract all the seats and then the carpet with the extremely hot water and my powerful carpet cleaner to restore everything to looking new again. Okay, well sometimes things don't always go as planned and that's exactly what happened in the second row here. After removing all the dirt, I found that this seat is covered in what appears to be purple, blue and green nail polish 
which I can already tell is going to be a challenge to remove, but I'll have to hope that the steamer can take care of that once these carpets and seats are done. Coming back to the tiny strip of carpet by the rear doors and due to the poor quality of carpet it's going to take multiple passes, lots of agitation and a lot of carpet solution to get as much of that dirt out as possible, though I do know from experience that there's always a chance it won't all come out, but I'll give it everything I've got to get it looking as good as possible. Alright, well after a couple hours of extracting, here's the entire bucket full of really dirty and smelly water pulled from the Traverse today, and honestly this angle doesn't do it justice as it was pretty brown, but now that the carpets and seats are clean, it's time to start on all the interior trim of which most is absolutely filthy or covered in something gross and sticky, so using my tried and true approach of 4 to 1 all purpose cleaner, and then the brush attachment on the steamer, I'll get to work on the rear passenger door where you guessed it, there's a pile more nail polish all over the door and in the cup holder, so yeah, it's going to take quite a bit of time and patience to get it all removed. Coming back to the nail polish on the back seat now and I'm starting by just using the smaller brush attachment and I'm having a little bit of success. I can see the color starting to lighten so I know that what I'm doing is working, but after several attempts the last little bit wouldn't budge, so I had to get a little more aggressive and use some all purpose cleaner, which thankfully was the difference here and shortly after I had it all removed and the seat looking perfect again.
Okay guys, well, I just finished getting the, the front seats back in and uh, bolted down and uh, just, just started to work on getting these, uh, these cover plates in for the, you know, the second row back here. And I gotta say, I do not like this vehicle. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I did a 2012 Chevy Traverse on the channel, I don't know, it was several months ago, but uh, I distinctly remember it being a huge challenge working with these, uh, these trim pieces in here on the second row seats. Um, and yeah, I was kind of hoping that from 2012 to 2017 that they had fired the person in charge of design or one of the engineers that, that did this, uh, but it doesn't look like they did. So um, here I am, uh, stuck, <laughs> struggling to get these back in, but uh, yeah, it just takes time. It's uh, the problem is that there's clips that hold it down, and they're like right in the middle, of the underneath the seat. And I just I have a really hard time reaching um, and getting in there. But keep trying. Okay, with some of my ceramic spray coating in hand, I'm going to quickly get this black paint protected for winter and looking super slick and shiny. And really the trick to getting the best results out of this stuff is to carefully watch it once you've put it on and only remove it when it starts to look like it's drying or disappearing. It'll wipe right off and leave the paint looking incredible. Hey, come on in. Take a look at your car. Oh my God, it looks so amazing. 
Yeah, it's uh, it's looking pretty good, eh? What? <laughs> it looks brand new. It looks better than when I first got it, actually. Yeah, awesome. <gasps> wow. Yeah, we'll have to take, you'll have to take a look inside. That's where uh, obviously a bulk of the work was. So I can look inside. It's, uh, I can look inside. It's as close to brand new as I could get it. <gasps> oh my god, I've never seen it look like this. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. It smells amazing. It looks amazing. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Turned out good. I'm happy with how it turned out. So. I love it. My kids aren't allowed in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Wow, you did an amazing job. Holy crap. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Wow. No. Okay. You well, did an amazing job on it. I'll give you that and uh, yeah, enjoy it. Thank you, thank awesome. you, thank you. It looks brand new. All right guys, well, 15 long hours went into this Traverse to get it looking brand new again. And I gotta say, that was one of the dirtiest and nastiest vehicles that I have done for quite some time. Now, if you guys enjoyed the transformation, make sure you smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future videos. Enjoy the guitar outro and I'll see you guys in the next one.